One thing to be aware of when installing a metal roof is the possibility of contact between dissimilar metals. For example, if your home has copper gutters and downspouts in place, and you want to install a steel or aluminum roof, there is a risk of galvanic or bimetallic corrosion occurring if the dissimilar metals come in contact with one another. With the introduction of a catalyst or electrolyte, which can be something so simple as rainwater, one metal will start to be sacrificed to the other, beginning a process of whitish corrosion or even red rust. The coatings that are often used on today's steel and aluminum roofs help to avoid contact between dissimilar metals. But I also advise using another material, such as a strip of rubber or other membrane, or even a quality sealant to keep dissimilar metals from having direct contact. Done properly, the concern for corrosion is eliminated. I also get asked frequently about runoff water from copper perhaps from gutters or special flashings or a weather vane or even lightning protection on the roof. Will the runoff water from copper damage a steel or aluminum roof if it runs across its surface? Provided the steel or aluminum has a quality coating on its surface, such as a PVDF finish, I have not seen problems with this. However, the runoff from copper can leave streaks on anything it touches. Because copper ions kill biological growth, those are actually clean streaks on the roof, but they can begin to leave deposits of the characteristic green patina color from the copper over time, and especially with a roof painted in a light color. That may not be too attractive. In those cases, it might be wise to remove the copper or look for a way to isolate and control the runoff water.